What's going on people? Today we're breaking down the final trailer for the final episode of Attack on Titan and I know what you're thinking, haven't there already been two trailers for this final episode? And yeah, you'd be right to say that, there were two trailers this year for this one episode. However, those were pretty short trailers, I think the last one was only 30 seconds long. This new trailer we've got today is a minute and 30 seconds, so there is a lot more content to kind of break down and talk about. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so the trailer begins with the rumbling in full motion and what's interesting is that this city that they're trampling here, I'm like 90% sure this is meant to be London because if you look at this bridge and you compare it to Tower Bridge in London, like, yeah, I think that was very intentional. This has got to be London or at least, you know, the Attack and Titan equivalent of London. As this continues, Zeke is talking over the trailer and we all know how suicidal he is anyway. Like he, remember, his plan was to eradicate or at least to sterilize the entire Eldian race. So he is not afraid of death. Death is something that he almost welcomes to an extent. And in this moment, he says that uh, perhaps one's final moments bring some kind of relief. Um, so he's kind of like accepted defeat at this point um, because as we know, the last time we saw Zeke, he was getting literally absorbed by the source of all living matter so he's pretty much done and so in the past dimension he's clearly talking to someone and he's just saying you know i guess he's just accepting his fate he's accepting that he's gonna die and that everyone else in the world is gonna die because of Eren. the trailer then flashes forward to the founder ymir and we can see her almost in the flesh in this scene so she's standing on top of Eren and kind of watching the battle unfold and in this section right here you can see reiner fighting against the beast titan or at least a version of the Beast Titan. If you've seen part three of the final season, you know that in that episode, Zeke kind of appeared. It wasn't really him. It was a creation made by the power of the Warhammer Titan. And so it was a fake Beast Titan made out of Titan hardening that was throwing rocks at, you know, the, the heroes of the story. And yeah, so in this scene, Reiner crashes down on Zeke and basically just turns him to dust. So this, at this point, the Beast Titan is turning into, he's a skeleton. We then get a few shots of the Cart Titan in action, ripping apart the Warhammer Titan, because as we've seen in many of these trailers now, there are various Titans from the past that are appearing due to Eren's power to just, you know, create any Titan he wants out of the Warhammer Titan's power. To be specific, actually, it's not really Eren who's creating these Titans, it's more Ymir doing this to kind of defend Eren. And yeah, in this scene, Peak just rips one of them apart, which shows you that the Cart Titan is actually useful, because out of all the nine, it probably seems like the least useful, the least ready for battle. Um, but yeah, I mean, it clearly, with Peak at least, it does have some use. Now, switching over to this shot of the cabin, this part will have spoilers, so just skip to the timestamp ahead if you want to avoid any spoilers for the final episode. But for everyone else, this scene of the cabin, so this is from Aaron and Mikas's, uh their time they spent together in the past dimension. Because this final episode is 90 minutes long, which is basically a movie, right? So I think what they're going to do, they're going to show us a lot of extended scenes, scenes that in the manga we weren't really able to uh, be fleshed out. So I'm thinking Aaron's, Aaron and Mikas's time in pause. I'm thinking potentially Aaron and everyone. So Aaron and John, Aaron and Annie, Aaron and Reiner. He spoke to all of them, but we only really got to see in the manga, we only saw Aaron talking to Armin and Mikasa. Because the episode's so long, I'm just, is my head cannon at this point, but I'm hoping and thinking that it's so long because there are extra scenes. Moving on, we then get what I think is an anime original shot of Ymir smiling. I don't remember ever seeing this shot on paper. It's her, she's in the real world. So this must be a memory from her childhood uh, when she was working for the for the Malians. But yeah, I, I don't know. This must be an anime original scene. So I'm interested to see the context of this flashback. Uh, maybe they'll reveal like a new memory from her past. But the fact she's smiling, I'm assuming that she's just seen something related to... I mean, we all know. The thing that Ymir wants is love. Like, she has been pining after real love since she saw that, that couple get married when she was young. So, I'm guessing it's related to that somehow. As the trailer continues, we then get a shot of the scouts all together. So, Levi and his crew and Irvin and Hanji. And he Levi asks an interesting question in this moment of the trailer. He says, when you all dedicated your hearts, was it to trample on the hearts of others? You know, as in, was it to do something like this, the rumbling? Or was it to rid the world of Titans? And I think we know the answer to that. Their goal as the Scouts was to rid the world of Titans. That's why the Scouts was created, to go outside the walls and to, you know, discover new places, to eradicate the Titans 
and an established human bases outside the walls. So their goal wasn't to wipe out humanity like Eren is doing. And I know you can say that they didn't know there was humanity outside the walls, but Levi does have a point. Like I doubt that most of the scouts would support Eren eradicating all life on, on Earth. And I know that's ironic coming from me, given that I made an entire alternate reality where Irvin kind of does maybe support the rumbling in a way. But you know, the whole reason I made uh, my alternate reality was because it was a completely different set of circumstances. Whereas in these circumstances here, I don't think there's any way they would have supported him. Anyhow, following that, we then get this amazing sequence of Levi tearing apart this ancient female Titan. And then the shot like immediately transitions into uh, Porco attacking him as well. So this was just a great action shot just from one titan to another um really fast paced stuff everything just seems so smooth in this trailer like no wonder they took so long to make this final episode you know because it's been quite a few months since part two but no wonder they took so long because they have been perfecting this thing it just looks yeah it looks amazing i can't wait for this also we then get this freaky shot of bertolt's like colossal titan just appearing out of the sky and he's one of many ancient titans that are appearing in this episode but it's just ironic because obviously these guys here all know bertolt so seeing his face kind of emerge from the sky like a god almost like this is very godlike imagery, I think. Yeah, it's going to throw them off guard because if I see my dead friend appearing on the battlefield, there's a lot more emotion involved in that compared to fighting against some random ancient titan. Also, this next shot features Reiner on the ground. So in this moment here, he's no longer on top of Eren's founding titan. And the way this moment is shot, there's clearly something charging directly at him. And he's kind of like, you know, putting his arms out like the Hulk ready to stop it. But um, let's not get into spoilers about that. After Reiner, there are then a couple action shots of Connie and Mikasa just going hard, destroying Titans. And we get this moment here. I love this panel here. The Warhammer Titans with their bows and arrows. It's like a literally an army of Warhammers throughout history. It's, this is really cool. Following that, we then get an iconic shot, I think. Maybe iconic for the wrong reasons, but we get Eren Kruger's Titan on the left. We see Grisha Jaeger's Titan on the right, so the two attack Titans. Behind them is Bertolt's Colossal Titan, and then holding Armin in the center is Tom Sava. So this is Zeke's mentor, Tom Sava, who was the previous Beast Titan who had the ability to turn into a ram. So these are all Titans that we know from some point in the story who've who've died. And they're all holding up Armin in the center, like he's the hero of the story. I think it looks quite cool. Uh, but there are some there are some criticisms you could say about this scene, um, especially when it came to Eren Kruger's ideology and what he believed of the Malians. Would he support Armin's goals? Debatable, but I guess if the author thinks so, then, then that's that is what it is. Uh, but the fans, you know, for us fans, we can debate that kind of stuff. I personally think there's a chance Eren Kruger might have gone along with what Eren believes and I only say that because his family was like brutally burnt to death by the Malians. Someone who's been through something like that he in the same way that Eren feels anger against the world Eren Kruger felt that same anger so I don't know entirely if he would try and stop the rumbling but like I said if the author thinks that then fine that's what it is. The trailer then closes out with these four amazing shots so the first one is of Levi dodging all of this rubble and kind of spoiler warning ahead here, but the only moment I can think of is the moment when Armin kind of, his Titan just gets its head caved in and there's a bunch of just rubble coming out. I'm assuming it's from that, but um, yeah, either way, this scene looks awesome. The blue lighting around the flames as well, it just, it just looks epic. It just looks so good, like a movie. And I guess this is basically a movie though, because 90 minutes long for a final episode, 90 minutes used to be a movie back in the day. I swear like Shrek was like 90 minutes. Um, so this is this is going to be a movie level event for sure. The next amazing shot is of Reiner just body slamming this Warhammer Titan, which I thought was cool. And possibly the most important one of the whole trailer, we actually see the real Eren. Because up until this point, ever since he transformed into the founding Titan, we've been seeing the head of the Titan itself, but we've never actually been seeing Eren inside of it. So now we actually see him. And he looks depressed here. Clearly, as you can see, you can see that his, his neck is just bare bones. Like, he's basically just a head piloting this massive Titan, but his body hasn't regrown at this point. Titan shifters don't heal automatically. Like, if they don't have the will to, to heal themselves, then they won't heal themselves. And so Eren still being a decapitated head in this moment, even after doing the rumbling for all these days, he's had time to transform and heal himself, and he hasn't done it. So that should tell you something. Lastly, the final moment is Armin transforming into his colossal titan. And I know, I already said this looks like a movie, but this shot especially looks like a movie. Like, it's just, this is peak 
fiction. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, but honestly, guys, I can't wait. One week from today, the final episode is coming out on Saturday, the 4th of November. And yeah, after that, we're pretty much done. Like, there's no more Attack on Titan after this. Uh, I don't think Isayama's gonna, you know, make a prequel series or sequel series or anything like that. So this really is the end of this iconic series that's been going on for over a decade. You know, and, and the manga ended two and a half years ago, I think. Maybe, yeah, it was around two years ago. So this episode really is the end of, of everything, really. So yeah, I mean, it is what it is. There's other things to watch, like, for example, Jujutsu Kaisen. You know, if you're a fan of that, you can watch that. And speaking of Jujutsu Kaisen, I wanted to give a shout out to Gallery Panda Official. They gave me this awesome print of Gojo, which is like, it's not just a poster. It's like, it's not just a normal poster. It's kind of thick, you know? And yeah, Gallery Panda Official. Check them out. They make amazing prints. And the price is pretty good as well. Thank you for watching as always. And until the next one, peace out.